Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. This is Old Car Auto Guy, and today we are going to be starting tearing the interior apart on Old Dale to get ready for some cab corners and rocker panels. So stay tuned. <music> So over the weekend we were able to get in here and get things cleaned up in the garage. I've got the old Mopar kind of stuck over here against the wall a little bit and I still got some junk to deal with here along the side. But we've got plenty of room for Dale that I can walk around it, I can open up the doors and I'm not having to bump into things. So what we're going to be doing today is we've got to get the carpet out, the seats and the seat belts so that we can start attacking the cancer that is on these rocker panels. If you remember the previous video, we did go over all the things that needed to be addressed on Dale. Cab corners, rocker panels, a couple of small spots on the inner rockers, and guess what? As I mentioned, all those pieces came with the truck. We've got our outer rocker panels. We've got our inners. We've got our cab corners. And we've got our inner cab corners. The only thing that I had to buy was these patch panels here that I can size them up as far up as I want and likely I'll go right underneath this trim so we can replace the rot that's here as well as what's starting on the passenger side. So as far as this video goes we're going to concentrate on getting the seat and the carpet out and get prepared for those rocker panels. All we gotta do is get these seat belts out of the way here. And then wrestle by myself to get this seat out that door. Well, that wasn't too bad, I guess. So now, in order to get this carpet out, we've got to get the sill plates off both sides and get the seat belts out on each end because there's a bolt that kind of goes right down through the carpet. So let me grab the tools and we'll get to that. Okay, so now that we've got the door sills and the seat belts out of the way, we can now pull the carpet and the underlay out and see what kind of uh, damage we may have under there. So we've got the carpet pulled and we did find some uh, some wetness on the floors but I think we caught it just in time. This thing I think has seen just enough of uh, New England winters uh, to be a little bit dangerous. Although the underside stayed pretty good, the cab corners, rocker panels we know are gone. The floor is just starting to the point where the underlay is sticking to the rust that's peeling up. I think we can stop this dead in its tracks. We've got a product that we can use called Rust Off and the rest of it seems like it's okay. We won't have to touch anything in here. Just get it cleaned up. You can see that the rust is just starting its surface uh, at the surface level already. So that's all we're going to do for tonight. We're going to clean up our tools um, and call it quits for now. But when we come back, we will be uh, cleaning up the floors and getting them ready for primer and paint. So. We'll be right back. Okay, it's the next night and we're going to get this floor in uh, Dale kind of cleaned up and prepped so that we can kind of go at it with some primer and some paint. That way it will stop rusting. One of the products that we're going to use for that is something called Rust Off. And if you've never heard of this stuff, there's lots of different products out there that do the same thing. Basically, once the surface has been cleaned up, you spray it on and it converts rust into a non-rusting metal. So you spray it on there, you let it dry for probably 24 hours, which will be fine in here. So what we're doing tonight isn't going to be a whole big process, but it will probably do up this video 
in preparation for the next one where we'll actually spray the floor down with some primer and some paint. So let's go through the process of what we're gonna to do tonight and get at it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the scraper just to scrape off all the loose rust. We'll vacuum it up and then we're gonna take our rust off and spray the surfaces both on this side as well as over there. So I think we'll do that to some music. So now that we've got all that cleaned up and scraped down, we found a few surprises. We found a hole right here, which again, it should be an easy fix. We also found a couple of pinholes right here, which we'll have to fix up. I still believe we really struck gold with this truck with only having to deal with the cab corners and rocker panels. A few little patches here and there. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to spray these floors down with the rust off. We've got to let that set so it dries up. And uh, so tomorrow night we'll come back, we'll finish up. Uh, getting this all cleaned up and maybe lay down some primer and some paint and that will stop it from rusting any further Then we can tackle those two little pinholes and go from there on the passenger side Everything is a-okay. So the floors No big surprise here other than that those two little spots uh, Which we can fix up and then we can start cutting out our rockers and getting ready to put those panels in Now that we've got that done, we're going to let it dry and we'll come back to it uh, at a later time. Guys, I hope you really like this video and I hope that you uh, like the square bodies because it is my passion and I hope to share that passion with you guys. If you know of anybody who likes the Chevy square bodies or GMC square body trucks, then please share this video with them. Let them know that I'm building this truck and that we're going to make it into something. The fact that it's original paint, original motor, original transmission, we are going to lower it as I mentioned to you guys in the last video. Those videos will be coming soon. I want to get these rocker panels and cab corners done first. That's a crappy job. And I want to get the worst part of the build out of the way first. And so we're going to be tackling these cab corners and rocker panels. I'm going to show you how I do it. I might even get some help from my dad because, well, he's done a lot of this stuff before and I'm not much of a welder as I mentioned before. I can grind a pretty good uh, weld though. And uh, I guess that's what makes me a good welder. Nevertheless, I hope you guys are following along. I hope you can share these videos and tell all your friends and because uh, this is the direction of the channel from now on. T-shirts are available. There will be a new one coming up very shortly for old Dale here and uh, it's going to have a picture of him and uh, it'll be a nice surprise that I'll show, uh, I'll share that with you guys likely on Instagram first but nevertheless they will be for sale at my Spreadshirt store. If you want to get an old car auto guy shirt uh, of the OG type with just old car auto guy on it. Similar to that logo then that link is the first one in the description box below. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. We'll see you back here with Dale in the very near future.